Well, welcome to Tales from Surgeons Hall. Um, again, I'm standing in front of some strange objects, certainly um, something that you wouldn't see every day. You can, you can see on the, my right is a cast of a soldier's face and on, my le on the left of that is a strange mask. And this is a story about Alphonse Louise, who was a, a gunner in the French army. Um, who had his jaw blown off in the early 19th century and uh, a cast was made of his face and that's what this is here and you can quite clearly see from the wound that there's the tongue hanging out but no lower jaw and of course this was a massive problem for somebody who would take a very long time to uh, convalesce and would have big difficulty eating and drinking and in fact you know in the early part of his convalescence he had to be helped in almost everything. Um, it came about that um, Louise was um, noticed by a uh, surgeon general of the French army, a chap called Forget, who uh, decided that he thought he could make a prosthetic mask for him. And that's exactly what this um, device here is. It's actually, a, you can't see it, but it's a flesh coloured mask with a, a, a small hinged part in the front, to, which is attached to the front of the face and allowed uh, Louise to eat and drink. Um, and the amazing thing about this is that because it's an early prosthetic, we have a good um, idea about what these people were trying to achieve. And over a period of time, Louise learned to be able to eat and speak again properly. And he became quite the man about town because when he wore this mask, he couldn't quite really see what the uh, extent of his injuries were. And he was asked to parties and things like, like that, and he became a regular man about town. So it just goes to show, even in the early 19th century, the value of improving somebody's quality of life, certainly after a, a military wound, was extremely important.